Hello and welcome to the first episode of Tectorial's newest series, aka Manage Back. Manage Back is a learning management system for academic programs, specifically the IBDP. If you're unfamiliar with it, don't worry, just keep on watching and you'll learn more. When you first open your Manage Back, either on its website or mobile app, you'll be welcomed with the dashboard page, which is like a simplified version of all the other sections in Manage Back. Here, you can find two weeks worth of events from your Manage Back calendar, for your full calendar, or add your own personal event. There are also summaries of your IB core subjects that you add to Manage Back. This includes your portfolio, CAS, Excited Essay, TOK Exhibition, and TOK Essay Progress. As you scroll, you'll find the latest activities such as assignments or events that your respective subject teachers have added. On the right side of the page, you also get access to ManageBack's newest post on their blog, a legend for the symbols regarding coursework submission status, key contact information of your teacher, advisor, and parents, and lastly, student guides. By clicking on the links, it will automatically take you to that subsection. For example, clicking on a task will take you to the task itself. Clicking on an email address will open your mail app to email them, and clicking on any of the summaries will take you to that page in ManageBack. You can also go to that same page from the search engine at the top or by selecting the menu icon on the top left and choosing from this list. Just like the name suggests, the Tasks and Deadlines page lets you see all your upcoming and completed tasks that are assigned on ManageBack by your teacher. For each task, there's the task name, the data was added, task labels like test or submittive, the class name, and the deadline, which is also seen in your Manage Back calendar. If a task is already graded by your teacher, you can view it in the completed task section with its score and IB grade from 1 to 7 that you receive. By selecting a class from the right side, you can filter the tasks shown so that only tasks from that class can be seen. To learn more about coursework submissions, clicking this reference guide will bring you to Manage Back's website in which reading their blocks can help you. The way ManageBack helps you organize all your tasks and deadlines is through their own version of a calendar. You can view your calendar monthly or weekly and these arrows let you go back and forth from the different dates. Pressing to date will then bring you to the current day on the calendar. Hovering over the I info icon lets you see some details about the set event and selecting browse event or the event itself will show you the full details. All the events you see in your calendar are usually added by your teachers to a specific class. However, ManageBack also lets us students add our own personal event in which only we can see it. By selecting this button, you can then fill in the name of the event, set a location, add notes, set the date and time, and tick the All Day Event box if you want this set event to last the whole day. Once you're done, click the Add Event blue button and ta-da! You've made your own personalized event that's added to your ManageBack calendar. When you hover over a personal event, your account profile will be written as a teacher. Clicking a personal event and selecting edit event brings back the previous fill-in boxes where you can edit it, while selecting delete event allows you to delete it permanently. Just remember to save your changes when you edit the event or it's all unfortunately lost. Since the Manage Back calendar includes events from all the classes you're in, it can get a little bit messy and confusing. By selecting these labels on the right, you can filter these events based on their category which highlights them so that you can find them easily. Clicking on the subscribe calendar allows you to connect deadlines from task to your local calendar app so that it automatically syncs without you needing to do anything. Similar to the task and deadlines page, there's also a reference guide on how to manage your Manage Back calendar. You can find guides for the three IB core subjects, CAS, EE, and TOK, the sciences, and study tips all on the guides and handbooks page. This also contains the title, author, and date of publication of that guide. Selecting on a guide doesn't open a website. It shows up like this instead. You can then browse through the different sections of a guide on the left here and clicking on it lets you read it. The OSC homepage is a recently added feature on ManageBack in which you can find a compilation of multiple study resources. On the right side of the page, there's an exam countdown and a quote for today. You can subscribe for the OSC study app or sign up for a free one-week trial. As you scroll down the page, you'll find the same guides from the Guides and Handbooks page, blogs to keep up with Manage Back updates and subjects, and various webinars that you can sign up for. That's all for today's video, and we hope you enjoyed our first Manage Back episode. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever you upload. See you next time!